The massive lines that once snaked around outside this passport office have all but disappeared. It was not frustrating at all, no, and I was pleasantly surprised and I think if I could give, you know, Google reviews, I would probably like give five star. Because, but that doesn't you know, mean all the passport woes are over. <laughs> to cope with scenes like this, the government has been triaging cases. People scheduled to travel within days get priority. Others can be left waiting, weeks or even months. People applying here today showed up hours before it opened, expecting the worst. We'll see if I'm able to pick it up now and get it. I mean, I leave on Tuesday, so I'm just hoping for the best. But I mean, there are people lined up around the whole thing. It's it's, it's crazy. It, it's kind of highly unnecessary. We heard some people that said they were here since 4 o'clock in the morning. We showed up at 6.30. Yeah, we showed up two hours before, and I mean, I was in an hour and a half. In an hour and a half. There are 35 passport offices across Canada. Not nearly enough to service everyone who lives outside big cities. Today, a promise from the minister responsible. We are expanding passport services to four additional Service Canada sites across the country. She says there are more to come, but gave no details. Gould says passports will be available within 10 days at the new pickup locations, meaning more people facing immediate travel can get their documents in hand on time. But not soon enough, say critics. It really undermines the trust in government. And Andrew Griffith is a former top civil servant with Service Canada. He says the government has bungled the travel restart. The surge was expected. It was in the departmental plan. Um, so clearly there was some problem in terms of maybe they underestimated it, maybe they didn't take it serious enough, maybe they were busy doing other things. So, JP, we know it's bad, but how bad is bad in that passport pileup? Well, the government has been overwhelmed with applications, Adrian. More than a million have flooded in since April alone. And the government is saying they're doing everything they can to try and get a passport in the hands of travelers, but they're only pumping out 50,000 a week, and that's really not enough. There's hundreds of thousands of people now waiting to find out if they can leave the country anytime soon. Adrian. All right, JP Tasker in Ottawa. Thanks, JP.